Over the last 15 years, Minnie Driver has become one of Britain's best-known Hollywood actresses. Born in London in 1970, she made her breakthrough with films like Goodwill Hunting in the late 90s. Now 43, she lives in Los Angeles as a single mother with her four-year-old son, Henry. Having a baby obviously changes everything. And Henry made me want to connect with who I really am, I suppose. My dad died a year and three months after Henry was born. And I'm so grateful that they had even a little amount of time together. And Dad just delighted in Henry. My parents met in around 1962, and they were together for 13 years. They broke up when I was six, and during that entire time, he, my dad, was married to somebody else and had another family. I didn't know they weren't married until I was about 12 or 13. My dad lived, I think, a very split life. We just did not talk about where he came from. He spoke very succinctly about his mum and his dad. I never met either of my grandparents. I never saw or even a photograph of them together. And I always have wondered what they looked like. I want Henry to have a different experience than I had. Where I come from, there are these big gaps. And I would like to fill those gaps for him. I think it's powerful knowing where you come from. Minnie has decided to find out who her father, Ronnie, really was and where he came from. While he never talked to her about his background, she does have one important document about his service with the RAF during World War II. This book was written in 1942 and a friend of ours quite randomly was at a jumble sale in Kent and found it. And it, in it is a story about my father and a battle in which he fought. And I wanted to go to my mum's and to see if he'd ever talked to her about it. Minnie's mother, Gaynor, lives in West London. Hello. <laughs> She's always eager for news of her grandson, Henry. Look, kickboxing with Uncle Matthew. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Look, and Matthew was holding the gloves. Heavens. And then that was them. Look. Oh. <laughs> Look at him. He's quite He's a personality, so cute, isn't he? Isn't he? Which, look at those blue eyes. I know. Well, you know, they run in the family. Look at Dad had face. one. I know, Dad did <laughs> have one. He had one brown and one blue. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I found some old pictures, which are quite interesting. I mean, looking at them. I remember that so album. weird. That's staying in um, oh Barbados. Oh, God, I haven't seen that. That's a friend's house where we stayed. He's so handsome. The playboy there, doesn't He's he? He's such a gangster, I know. He's <laughs> ray <-bans. laughs> well, yes. I love seeing the two of you together. I don't have any pictures of you together. No. Did it bother you that he was married? Well, yes, because every day we had, you are the love of my life, we are going to be together, it will all be fine. I mean, it's the classic thing of the married man telling the girlfriend it's all going to be all right and just hang around. So I hung around for years. Did you get the impression that he was hiding something or did you...? Absolutely. But it wasn't anything I wanted to dig out because I could see it meant a lot to him to keep it hidden. You don't usually, when you go out with someone, you don't start quizzing them about where they were born and where they come I from. I do. do you? <laughs> <laughs> but then, I'm unmarried at 43. <laughs> well, I'm carry on. Well, I don't know. It was just, it just didn't seem too appropriate to dig around in his past, and I could see immediately he clammed up. I've got his birth certificate. Got it in here. Huh. Oh, yeah. So he was Welsh. Born in Swansea, 1921. Charles Ronald. I wonder why he's called Ronnie and not Charles. Because his dad was called Charles Because his Edmund. dad was Charles Edmund Driver. Kelly, mother. So she was Mary Jessica Kelly. Kelly. 
Wait a minute. Charles Edmund Driver, father, Kelly, mother. So they weren't they weren't married. I think we're keeping up the family tradition. Look, Charles Edmund Driver, father, Kelly, mother. That is very interesting, Min. So did you know much about his about the drivers, about his family? Very, very little. He did talk a little bit about the war, but there was never a punchline and you never really knew what really happened. Well, hold on, let's look in here. Mm. There's a war hero yeah. book. There he is, there he is. Look, with his funny teeth. Oh. Yes. Aircraftman C.R. Yes. Driver, yes. who fought against overwhelming odds in the great air battle over Heligoland Bight. His superb courage won the second Distinguished Flying Medal to be awarded during the war. Did he tell you anything about that? I mean, this is like a story that I, I, can't, I can't believe he well, wouldn't tell. I think because he felt that all acts of bravery were equal to his own. Do you ever see a medal? He actually told me that he'd thrown the medal in the Thames. You're kidding? Mm. It's a strange thing to do, yeah. It's a really strange thing to do. Mm. Why would he do that? Well, he said he didn't deserve it, I think. That was the bottom line. I am astonished at how little my mum knew about my dad. And this was the great love of her life. Just the idea that someone can send a signal so strongly that they do not want to talk about who they are And I'm really interested in this medal that Mum said Dad threw into the Thames. <laughs>